Patty Moreno, the garden girl. And I'm Mel Bartholomew with Square Foot Gardening. This month is an amazing month in the garden. It's April and pretty much everybody is starting to plant Absolutely. in their garden. In one way or another, just remember the old song that April showers brings May flowers. So we know it's warming up everywhere. Some parts of the country we planted a long time ago, right. last month. Other, we have to wait for another almost a month to really put in the summer crop. But we can get going now all over the country with a spring crop. These are the cool weather different plants. Right. We kind of control our, our garden plants like we do kids, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you stay over here and you stay over there. So if you can start putting all those kind of plants, uh, spring crop, out now. So it's April, I've got tons of seedlings ready to go out right. in the garden, but I can't exactly just bring them out and plant nope, them, right? No, because you're going to change the environment. You, They've been indoors a sunny window or under lights, it's been warm. They're just happy as can be. You can't suddenly put them out of doors where it's cold and chilly and the wind is blowing. Wind is very important, people don't think of that. But you've got to gradually get them used to going from the indoors to the outdoors. So it's April, it's the rainy season. Yep. We mentioned that earlier. I think now is a great time to start collecting rainwater. Yes, absolutely. And, and where does it rain and where does it run off and where's the best place? Well, your house is perfect because all the rain comes off the roof, down a pipe, and right at the bottom of the pipe, what does it do? It runs out and spills out on the ground. Well, let's collect it right there. And we can do that by having an old-fashioned rain barrel. I love the fact that I have different areas in my garden collecting uh -huh. water. One of the things is it is free. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. I don't have to pay anybody for the water. Right. Another benefit to it is that it doesn't have the chemicals yes. that uh, regular tap water has. Right. It's Nature a, doesn't put chlorine in the rainwater. Exactly. Water. exactly. I, I, it didn't so see nice. A, there's a lot of chemicals yeah. in municipal water that actually damage the soil. Yes. We want that soil to be alive and we want our plants to live. Right. So we don't necessarily mm. want to give them, you know, exclusively right. tap water. So it's our rain barrel is going to give us water that is chemical free. It's also free. <laughs> yes, it's free. You don't pay for it. Plus, we're doing a great thing for the environment. We're saving water that doesn't have to be collected and treated and stored and all that. So let's start thinking about when to save water. And April showers is a good time to get started. Exactly. And, you know, we're using the square foot gardening method. So our garden is next to our home. Yep. Our gutter comes off of our right. roof, so our rain barrel is going to be nice and yep. close to our garden, so we're not going to have to move right. water or, around. Or carry it very far. Now, there's a lot of products on the market to replace that rain barrel. They might be made out of plastic or metal, and they're smaller than a big rain barrel, but they all work pretty good. And you just tie those right into your downspout. It's April. It's the fun time in the garden. Stay tuned for next month, May. It's warming up. Yes, and we're going to have a lot of tips for you on how to expand your garden and make it the best you've ever had. This is Mel Bartholomew wishing you happy gardening.